The Artful Plan is a book about the potentials of architectural drawing in a contemporary situation. Since the Renaissance, drawing orthogonal projection was the main tool for architects. It was their main media, their main way of representation. It was the mediator between the ideas of the architect and the construction of the actual building. But during the last couple of decades, this situation has changed with the invention of new digital tools of representation. In our book, The Artful Plan, we investigate and discuss, we show new ways of using architectural drawing, exploring architectural drawing, investigating what are the possibilities of drawing in this new contemporary situation where the digital plays such an important role within architectural culture. Are there still any potentials in architectural drawing? For the book, we decided to reflect that kind of format um, of combining like work, uh, drawn work, artistic, like drawn work showing artistic approaches to architecture with academic work. Um, which for the book, I mean, it's about, it's about plans, but it's not about building plans, like working drawings. It's about actually all those other kinds of plans that you as an architect can create, especially if you go into dialogue with other art forms, like we have like examples of going into dialogue with, uh, with cinema. There is, for instance, uh, Penelope Harry Lampedus um, article about her own work with drawings in relation to, uh, to, to cinema. And we also have like the combination to, uh, between architectural drawings and photography and literature. The book is divided into three parts. The first part of the book explores conventions within architectural drawing. And it also presents drawings, projects, which explore these conventions and point to or investigate how can we, how can we divert these conventions, how can we explore them creatively So this is a project by Rachel Hurst uh, from, um, from Australia, um, also doing uh, research with and on drawing. And it's an example of where you really get to look into somebody's creative process. Um, she's been at the archive picking out a lot of planned drawings that she thought were uh, fascinating and she um, kind of structured them due to her own logic and started drawing and well drawing and drawing and um, the original name of our project was drawing millions of plants and I think she really did that and she also worked with um, with watercolor like taking a total different approach to analyzing something that you find in the archive, right, through drawing with the material instead of kind of making the historical anal analysis, you could say. The second part of the book explores this new situation, the new digital regime that has such an impact on architectural culture. For instance, the use of point clouds, um, new ways of projecting, modeling, with the use of um, building information modeling systems, and other ways of using digital uh, media. And then we have Maya Lamy um, 
from from um, Aarhus School of Architecture, where she was working with 3D scanning. Um, and this is part of the second part of the book, where it's more about like, what if the plan disappeared? What what do we have? What kind of new possibilities do we have? And she's working with a creative approach to 3D scanning, which is you know interesting because. It's an extremely technical, uh, technological um, way of working. If you scan something, it really has to be exact. But she's like taking this other approach, looking through all the cracks and all the inexact insectnesses that she finds in these drawings and take that out and, and kind of makes that generative as, as part of her drawing production. In my contribution to the book, I have uh, I have collected a lot of photos of building signs in Berlin. Um, it's fun for me to uh, to see all these renderings because I make renderings myself, um, and to see how people react to them out in the city. And these are often very negative reactions that you actually find because these renderings are part of this gentrification project process that goes on in well, Berlin uh, extremely um, at the moment. And and people, um, well, there's, there's, there's this funny thing that these visualizations are, I mean, it even says on the building side that they are not, not binding, they are not, you cannot actually count on them. And when you also know how to make the visualizations, you of course know that that is very true, but maybe somebody who does not have that knowledge of making will not know that and will trust these drawings. So that's one thing. They can be very seductive. They can make people trust something that cannot actually be trusted. And then at the same time, they have become this symbol in the urban space of, okay, so gentrification is about to happen here. And, and people write very uh, angry graffitis on them, uh, like the people who move in here are animals and, um, and stuff like that. So I've been collecting that and then I made my own kind of reflection on that where I did some renderings and kind of a little bit uh, making fun of of the medium or trying to use the medium to other ends to actually like make a non uh, yeah make aware how these how these renderings actually work so that people might um, be able to like see through them yeah that was the intention of the project and this is what I want to do <laughs> a building sign with a floor plan. Uh, and this combination between perspective uh, rendering and floor plan is it's an extremely powerful way of selling um, selling housing today uh, and taking that uh, under critical exam that was the aim of my project. The final part of the book discusses how architectural drawing has now transformed itself from a field of conventions to an expanded field which um, creates and explores new heterogeneous types of drawing, new hybrids of drawings that um, communicate with other artistic media and draw from those experiences of other media in order to create new types of drawing, new types of representation and also new sort of architectural experiences. It's really an expansion of what we think of as architectural drawing. That is what the intention of this book is, to discuss what are the theoretical um, foundations, implications of these reconfigurations, um, and also just to provide examples of this reconfiguration, to present projects that actually explore these agencies of the architectural drawing, that point to new ways of working with the architectural drawing, um, new ways of exploring the conventions, maybe leading to completely new ways of thinking about architecture, 
but also exploring this new digital situation. And finally, to explore what are the relationships, what are the connections between architectural drawing as a particular media within architectural culture and other media that are available to architects or that can somehow be connected with drawing such as film, um, literature, fine arts, visual arts. All of that sort of contaminates architectural drawing and its conventions and leads to the invention of new sorts of architectural drawing.